everyone and welcome to Yoga with Adrian. I am Adrian, and today we have a sequence for the dorm room. By request, this is a sequence that you can do in any tight cramped space. Um, we're going to use a bed or a yoga mat and a chair. I brought a couple of uh, props with me as well, so you might want to stick around so you can see me in my new sexy dorm room yoga outfit later. Okay, let's get to it. So um, you can begin the sequence on your bed, your twin bed or whatever bed you have. I'm just imagining a dorm room. Um, or if you've already laid your mat out on the ground, then you can come flat on your back. So we have a couple options here. You can be on the mat or on your bed. I've brought a pillow here to simulate a bed, just in case you're on your beddy by. And uh, oh, didn't think I had here. I'm going to move my mic. Seamless. Okay, I'm going to come flat on my back here. Oh, yeah, that's nice. And I'm just going to start by hugging my knees into my chest. Yeah, so I can really feel my lower back just feeling yummy supported either on the cushiony bed or on the firm floor. If you don't have a yoga mat in your space, you can just roll down a towel. Roll down. <laughs> roll out a towel. Um, that works fine too, so you're not on the carpet. Okay, take a second to point and flex the feet and relax the shoulders down. Just waking up the body, maybe closing my eyes here, and coming into the present moment by taking a nice deep breath in and a nice long exhale out. Two more like that. Deep inhale in through the nose. And go ahead and let it out through the mouth or the lips. One more deep inhale and exhale completely. Nice. Keep the right knee hugging into the chest and we'll extend the left leg out up and then slowly lower it down. So nice long leg here. You can let it hover for just a second here as you squeeze the right knee in towards the heart, towards the chin, and then go ahead and relax it down. We're breathing into the left side here, breathing into that left hip crease. We're squeezing the right knee up towards the chest, towards the chin. And then once again, I can point and flex that right ankle, rotate it one way, then the other. I'm bringing a little bit of brightness to this left foot here as I breathe. Relaxing the shoulders. Shoulders are going to want to come up here, especially if you've been studying, working a lot, or anything having to do with the shoulders coming forward, which is almost everything in our culture. So make sure at all times during this practice, we're kind of reminding ourselves to relax, to create space between the ears and shoulders. One more deep breath in here. And I'm gonna cross it over. Right knee gently moves across the body towards the left edge of your mat or bed. We can hook the right foot here if you like. If it, if it happens naturally, it's kind of nice to hook it there. Otherwise, you can just let it, let it be free. And then I'm gently opening up through my right arm here, through my right wing, breathing into the armpit chest, and just finding that breath again. One more deep inhale in, exhale completely, and then rock it on back to center. Squeeze both knees up in towards the chest again, interlace the fingertips. Whether you're on the mat or the bed, this will feel nice here. In between, we're going to inhale in, exhale, draw the navel down, tailbone up, and then lift gently nose to knees. Again, make sure shoulders are melting down and away, far and away. A little bit of awareness in my feet. Just spreading awareness through the whole body here. Committing to the time that we've taken to be with our practice and be with our bodies. And then I'll gently release it back down. Send the right leg up. Squeeze the left knee in towards the chest, towards the heart. And then slowly we lower down. Checking in with the body in each transition. I call it getting your money's worth. So not really ignoring how we get in and out of things, but considering that part of the practice too. Now I'm breathing, sending some awareness into the front of that right hip crease. 
I might um, find a little movement in the left ankle, left foot. Maybe you press into the head, lift the chest, draw your shoulder blades in together and down if you still feel like the shoulders are creeping up on your earlobes. And then when you're ready, let's take the hands and gently guide the knee across into our twist. <sighs> Opening up through the left wing here. I soften through the feet. Breathe into the left armpit chest. Notice I'm using my right palm to gently guide the outer edge of my left leg down. That's sometimes nice to use the power of touch. Just go a little bit deeper. Heyo. Follow your breath, nice, full, deep inhale in. And on the exhale, we'll melt it back to center. Bring the soles of the feet to your bed or your mat. Arms rest gently at your side, knees point up in the air. Take a second to lift your sit bones, lift your hips, curl the tailbone under. So here is it tilting down. I'm going to curl it up and under. And again, find that like nice, um, what's the word I'm looking for? <laughs> flush. <laughs> nice flush sensation with the lower back. Okay, and I'm just going to take a breath here. And then I'm gently going to windshield wiper the legs to the right side of the bed or the mat. If there's a wall here and you're, you can't quite get over, then shift your hips over so you can do this on your bed. And I'm going to gently draw my left knee down towards the bottom right corner of my mat or my bed. So I'm breathing into the front of that hip crease again. Arms are resting gently at your sides. Another option would be to maybe interlace behind the head. Chill out here. Let the breath expand. So let the breath really be the movement here as we find stillness. What I mean by that is we're not just kind of waiting with the sensation, but we're breathing. And on the inhale, we can feel the skin of the body, this, the muscles, all that connective tissue. Move with the breath. To come out, I'll gently rock back onto the soles of my feet and then send it to the other side. This time, I'm intending the right knee down towards the bottom left corner of my bed or bottom left corner of the mat. Breathe. Opening up these muscles here along through the front body. So great after being, you know, crumpled up at a desk or just on the go. Follow your breath back to center. And then we'll come into a little fetal position here on either side. Just taking a second here in transition to feel good, finding that curve in the spine as we hug the knees up towards the heart. Take a couple breaths here. And it's here today that we might set our intention. So you might just be playing possum if somebody walks into your dorm like, I'm sleeping. But in our practice today, we're not just pretending to be asleep. We'll take a second to maybe even bring the palms together here if you like. Namaste. Or hands interlace. Or just relaxing. As we take a second here to set an intention or connect to a current mantra or current goal in your life. I always say in my classes, it's never too late to reconnect with New Year's resolutions. Why not? So the time on our mat is to stretch, increase flexibility, build strength, tone the body, but also to do a little energetic hygiene, mental hygiene. So we'll take a second here, connect to that, something positive that will serve you in the present moment, whatever that means to you. you close your eyes and articulate your intention to yourself. Go ahead and repeat your intention to yourself, honoring the power of word, the power of thought. And 
then we'll take a nice deep breath in, confirming it, considering it already done, already so. And on the exhale, open your eyes, press into the palms, and we'll slowly rise up. Okay, so now we're going to move to your desk chair. I figure every dorm has a bed and a little runway to walk in and of course a desk and chair. And even if you're not in a dorm room, if you're you know, just in a confined space, um, or this also maybe be good if you're traveling, find the chair in the room. I'm gonna use my built-in bench to be my chair. And we'll come to sit at it um, just kind of at the edge, a place where we can feel like we have a fighting chance sitting up tall. So even if you're not quite sitting up straight yet, um, find a place where you feel most supported. So sometimes in the back of the chair, we lean against the back like this. In the middle of the chair, we're kind of collapsing. So come on to the edge. And we'll just take a second here to roll up through the spine, find that length from the crown of the head to the tip of the tailbone. Loop the shoulders forward, up, and back. See if you can find the full range of motion here. And then we're just going to kind of swim to reverse it, one shoulder and then the other. <laughs> it's kind of a silly one. But close your eyes to get into the sensations here. And then when you feel satisfied, we'll roll up through the spine again. Lift the right leg and cross the right ankle over the top of the left thigh. Okay, so take a second here to make sure that you've maintained this nice lift from the crown of the head to the tip of the tailbone. It's the first thing to go like, okay, lift the leg. <laughs> so let's see if we can keep this nice and long, my friends. Great, imagine the top of your right thigh bone melting down and away. And then I'm gonna keep a little brightness in my right foot. And what I mean by that is I'm not just letting it go lax here, soft, but maybe pressing into the ball joint of that big toe maybe pressing into the heel, just finding a little bit of energy in the foot. Okie doke, take a deep breath in here, and exhale. On your next breath in, I'm gonna inhale, reach the arms up. Imagine lifting from this area, from the armpit chest, so we're lifting up. Then everyone, draw your belly in, lower belly especially draws in, and we breathe, don't hold your breath here. Spread the fingertips. Again, imagine the top of that right thigh bone drawing down. So I have a lot of opposition here. I have this lift up, but also this grounding down, maybe through the shoulder blades, through the foot, through the top of the right thigh. Take a deep breath in, and then exhale gently. We're gonna lean it forward. This is gonna be a little different for everyone, okay? So we might start off here and already feel that stretch in the hip. And so we might just chill here with awareness through the fingertips, every part of the body nice and awake. We might be able to go a little bit further and let the arms drape gently at our sides and let, and let the weight of the head gently come down, chin to chest. Notice I'm maintaining that brightness in the foot here. I'm breathing into the back of the neck. Soft fingertips wherever you are. Sweet, and then we tuck the chin to the chest. We press down through our sit bones in the chair and we slowly roll up, finishing with a nice loop of the shoulders. And then we release, take it to the other side. Again, check in with that line, crown of the head to the tip of the table, nice and long. As we cross the left ankle over the top of the right foot, find that brightness again. Just kind of do a little bit of a body scan. And that's a good note in, in general, especially if you're new to yoga, is each time we come into these postures, do a little scan, right? So we're not just trying to do the poses, but have an experience. It's what our yoga is all about. Okay, find that lift in the heart. Take a deep breath in and let it out. Once again, we're gonna reach the fingertips all the way up. Stay here for a couple breaths, just finding that opposition. So the reason I say stay here for a couple breaths is at first we're gonna be like, okay, inhale, uh, okay, exhale. So inhale, find the space, take your time. Find a lot of space between the ears and shoulders, draw the lower belly in. And then we'll take it down. 
Again, we might just rest here. Breathing into the outer edge of that left hip, keeping an integrity in that left foot and in the spine. I might bring the arms to drape gently at my sides as I allow the spine to round, the chin to come to the chest, and the weight of the head to relax over. Breathe, my friends. Tuck your chin into your chest, press down through the sit bones, and again, we'll roll it up, finishing with a nice loop of the shoulders. And then we'll release both feet back down. Awesome, so if you're in a chair now, you can grab the outer edge of the chair with your left hand. Um, or if you don't have an edge, <clears throat> then you're gonna be doing more, um, or if you don't have an arm. So if you have an arm, you can grab the arm of the chair here. If you have an edge, you can grab the edge and you're gonna be doing a little bit more core strength. If that did not make sense to you, <laughs> it didn't make sense to me either, then just follow me. Here we go. So keeping this integrity here, lower belly in, heart lifting. I'm going to reach my right fingertips all the way up and over. I'm going to press into the bench here since I don't have an edge of a chair, but find something to kind of ground. And then nice and easy, I'm going to find a little side body stretch. Heart's going to want to collapse here. I'm going to keep the heart open. We're gonna come into a side angle stretch here on our mats or on the floor in a second. So take a second to breathe through the side body and keep that uh, kind of spiraling motion of the chest or the heart up. Take a deep breath in, careful not to collapse in the neck here, but lengthen, lots of integrity. Remembering the neck is an extension of the spine. And then we'll melt it all the way through. Grab a hold of the opposite arm, chair, or press down through the palm. Stay grounded through your left sit bone as we check in with the left side body. Again, careful not to collapse in the neck here. Extend through the crown of the head, spiral your heart up towards the sky. Arm doesn't have to be straight here again. I'm going for sensation rather than shape. And on an exhale, melt it back to center. Okay, last thing here, I'm gonna spread my feet a little bit wider and I'm gonna let it all hang y'all okay so just like I did before I'm going to kind of swim my shoulders and I'm gonna let my fingertips come between and I'm gonna allow my spine to round my chin to come to my chest and I'm gonna breathe into the back body here I can grab the elbows here and you might notice here, we're going to stay here a couple breaths. You might notice that after a couple breaths, you begin to release a little bit more into this shape. Like you didn't even realize you were holding in the neck and shoulders. So really give it some nice juicy exhales. Now one more inhale, feel the skin of the back stretch. And on an exhale, we'll release. Press into the feet to come up, chin to chest. Lots of integrity as we roll it up. Stacking the spine, traveling up. And finishing again with a nice loop of the shoulders. Open chest, open heart, confidence, yes. Cool, let's come to standing. Okay, so if you have rolled out a yoga mat, come to the head of your mat. If you've rolled out a towel, come to the top of your towel. Or if you are just in a clean space and ready to rock and roll, let's come to a nice mountain pose. So I figure in a tight space, we have kind of a little alleyway to work with. And so that's what we're gonna play with today. Um, so we can kind of take up space internally, but not externally. So let's take a nice deep breath in, filling the lungs. And exhale, feel that nice grounding through the soles of the feet, the ball joint of the big toe, ball joint of the pinky toe, and the back two corners of the heel. heel. I like to imagine that line tracking all four corners of the feet. Take a deep breath in, reach the fingertips forward, knees soften here, notice up and back, volcano pose, tailbone lengthens down. So I move from here to tailbone lengthening down. I loop the shoulders, I find the space between the ears and the tops of the shoulders. I spread my fingertips, 
I draw my lower belly in. I breathe here, kind of knitting the lower rib cage together. One more breath, lift your heart. And on an exhale, soft knees again. We'll bring the palms together as we bow forward through the midline. Again, not taking up a lot of space here. Uttanasana, feet flush together or hip width apart. Take a couple breaths here to just find some movement. Stretch it out. Relax the weight of the head over. Great. Bend your knees as generously as you need to here. Great. Fingertips come to the outer edges of the feet. We step the right foot back into our runner's lunge. Inhale, loop the shoulders. Look forward. Let your chest shine open. Heart radiates forward. Really spike that right heel towards the back. And then we'll plant the palms for a downward facing dog. Pedal the feet here. Work your dog. Then we'll step the right foot up into our lunge. Same thing here. Breathe. Then we'll plant the palms and step it to plank. In your plank, draw the toes together today. Heels really reach towards the back. Navel draws up. I loop my shoulders away from my ears. And I'm going to stay here for five breaths. So you can always lower the knees, cross the ankles, and check it out this way. Make sure you're pressing up and out of the palms. Lots of upward energy, pressing up and out of the palms, up through the arms. We breathe, we hug the inner thighs together. We really spike the heels towards the back wall. We spread the shoulder blades left to right. And then everyone, don't forget about your neck, a nice long extension of the spine. Take one more breath. And then exhale, draw your navel up and we send it back downward facing dog. Bend the knees, pedal the feet. Cool, then from here we're gonna walk the toes in towards the center line. Careful not to take up too much space. We inhale, lift the right leg just a little bit and then we're gonna draw the right knee all the way up and into our lunge. I'm gonna spiral that back foot, planting the left heel and really charging that inner thigh here. Great, I'm gonna bend my right knee and slowly lift my heart up, peel my hip creases back and then I'm not gonna collapse my weight here but I'm gonna gently bring my right forearm to the top of that right thigh I walk mine out a little bit and breathe. Gaze is down. You can find a little bit of movement. I'm lengthening my tailbone down here. Great. I can stay here or I can inhale, send the left fingertips up, opening up through the front body, but still grounding, grounding shoulder blades down and together, grounding through the outer edge of that back foot. Great, release the left fingertips down. Now I'm gonna trace a line on my side body here, past behind the ear, and now send it towards the front. So before I was going straight up towards the sky, now I'm gonna open my chest, open my heart, and slowly send it towards my right toes. The tendency is to collapse here, so keep the heart lifted, lower belly drawing in, legs are strong, full body experience here, full body strengthener, Awesome, inhale in. As you exhale, press into that front leg. Bring the hands to the waistline. And then we'll switch to the other side. So nice strong legs here, find your foundation. Tailbone lengthens down. And here we go. First, bringing left forearm to the top of that thigh. Now if we start right away collapsing into that, there's just no way to get out. So make sure you keep this integrity that we've been chatting about. Back foot's nice and strong. Inhale, open up through the right wing. I have to actively lengthen my tailbone down and draw my navel in. Lower rib cage comes together and down. And again, making sure that I'm not just hanging in the neck, but lots of integrity from the crown to the tail. <clears throat> Great, release that. Send the right fingertips behind the ear now. Now I'm imagining a nice, beautiful long line from my right fingertips all the way through the outer edge of my back foot. Breathe. And then slowly I'm gonna inhale in, exhale, 
press into that left foot now. Turn both toes in, bring the hands to the waistline, and then heel toe, heel toe, my feet back into center. Okay, so now we're gonna come back to the floor or the bed even. And we're gonna check in with our core and then send our bodies and minds and souls into a little relaxation pose, okay? Which is very important, so don't skip that part. But before we get there, we're gonna come up nice and tall through the heart again, loop the shoulders, find that integrity. And then we have a couple options here. If you're on a cushy, if you're on a cushy um, bed, then you might just come to here. We're gonna lift the legs up, the weight of the body is gonna sink into the cushiness, and we're gonna do everything we can to keep the heart lifted. Notice my hands are behind the thighs here. And now before anyone even moves any step further, just check in with the upper back. Check in with that um, heart center, if you will. See if you can loop the shoulders and find that lift in the heart. Long, beautiful neck. Lower rib cage is knitting in, navel's drawing in, and we're breathing. Great, from here we can stay here. We might release the fingertips towards the outer edges of the feet and breathe here, in and out. Great, straighten the right leg if you're still with me. Inhale, in. And now, back to center, left leg. You can stay here too, no problem. Lifting the heart, straighten the left leg in and out. Here we come back to center, one more breath. We can inhale, straighten both legs now as we lift the heart maybe, or maybe we stay bent, or maybe we're going to a low boat because we rock and we're Pilates stars. So find what feels good here, just checking with the core, all of us. Anything goes. And then we'll bring the fingertips behind the thighs, bring the soles of the feet together, and come to lie flat on the back. So, oh, I have my pillow here. So the important thing is to just kind of get the abdominals a little bit of a wake-up call, a little bit of love there for the back, okay? Uh, we have other videos that are all about the core, but for now, just, just a quick check-in. Soles of the feet come together. We take the hands to the belly, and we literally give it a little pet. Take a deep breath in, and then we exhale out. So don't skip this. This relaxation is kind of a chance for all the nutrients of our practice to come together, for our mind to get a little bit of the nutrients as well, making space for fresh thought, knowledge, new opportunity, new joy, new love. So make sure you Give a nice, good exhale here. Letting go. You can stay here in reclined cobbler or butterfly, supta baddha konasana, as we call it in Sanskrit. Or you can um, extend both legs out long, come to your side. I brought with me, this was a present. I brought, I figure this would be the episode where this might be appropriate. If you have a blankie from home or something that makes you feel good. A very dear friend gave me this ridiculous Snuggie. <laughs> so, it's like, can't have two ridiculous things on at once, okay. Um, the point is, get comfortable, y'all. It's not homework, it's Shavasana. So, <laughs> I know I'm gonna regret this later. <laughs> so have a laugh on me. And know that relaxation isn't always like Om Shanti Zen. I mean, if you live in a dorm room, chances are this, you're not going to hear the Zen rock garden bells call you um, and say it's time for yoga. Or if you have kids or, um, you know, come on, every scenario there's distractions. So as you come into this relaxation pose, embrace the distractions. Just know that... Um, all that matters is this quick moment with you and your breath, even if it's just two breaths before you have to get up and get back to it. Make sure you take this time for yourself. And we can start together by taking a nice full breath in. Maybe a big gratitude breath and a nice long exhale out. 
gratitude for showing up and doing the work. Gratitude for this connection that you and I are making here through this video. Gratitude for all the lovely things in our life as well as the challenges and distractions. You might take a second here to remember your intention. And just choose to enjoy the moment for what it is. After a couple breaths, you can stay here too and maybe press the space bar or pause this video and chill out here as long as you like. Otherwise, after a couple breaths, we'll gently hug the knees into the chest. Rock on to our sides, just like we did before. And then press on up and get to the rest of your day. Okay, so that was <laughs> talking with my Snuggie. Okay, so that was uh, a sequence that we can do in a dorm room, uh, or if you're way past college, not like me, um, then this is a great sequence to do in a, just a tight space. I, I remember this feeling of, like, I can't do yoga at home, or my home practice sucks because I don't have the space to do it in. So now there's no excuse. I do know that feeling of wanting a clean, private, spacious yoga room. I mean... Trust me, no one understands more than me, but um, now you have no excuse. Let's give it a try and um, see how it goes, okay? Have a great rest of your day. Please leave questions or comments below. Feel free to send me a note on Facebook. Join our um, Facebook family if you haven't already. Uh, follow us on Twitter, and see you next time. Namaste. Mm -hmm.